The news of NTV pioneer news anchor Rosemary Nankabirwa has elicited an emotional outpouring among her staff friends, former workmates and the public. Akaungezi news anchor Faride Nakaziwe, who worked with Nankabirwa for more than five years, recounts the good times she shared with her. We used to call her Pinky because she was always colorful. Everything of hers was colored. She always told me my life is full of color, but it is very, very unfortunate. We have lost Rose. Nakaziwe recalls that outside the newsroom, Nankabirwa shared an affection for children. She loved kids to the extent that she would call me over the weekend. But if you're busy, I can have the girls and you go do whatever you want. A dark cloud hovered over the precincts of the NTV newsroom at the Serena Conference Center after news of her death trickled in. As someone who has been really there at the home of the fundraising, it's shattering. We are all really just confused, wondering how and why this could happen. I was always dressed in dull clothes. But you tell me, you know what? You have to, you have to make your life look a little more colorful because we live in a dark place. The world is full of so many problems. So you try and make the most of what you have. And I'm sorry. Many embraced her passion and enthusiasm for news anchoring and reporting. Rosemary demonstrated her ability to read news with a passion. She demonstrated to us that for anything that needs commitment, a woman would do it equally as same as a man. So sad that even after the, the raising the money and everybody was, is expecting and then that's the time that God chooses to take her away. Her fans cut across the political spectrum as many spoke fondly of her. It leaves some memories maybe in our minds that maybe if attention had been done earlier, maybe the situation would have been different. So it posed a big challenge to government how we shall we lose our people even after putting the effort to take them out of the country. Former FDC President Dr. Kiza Vesija said that the death of Rosemary is symptomatic of the country's ailing health care system. The purpose of a government, the purpose of a leader of government is not to assist private initiatives like these in providing health services. It is to actually plan and provide a health care system that anticipates that such ailments would be there and that they are able to be managed within the country. Only yesterday, Nankabiro was flown to the Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi after many Ugandans embraced a fundraising campaign for her treatment. Yet, for the devotedly religious journalists, it was the last journey as she wreathed in the throes of death. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.